here comes another ball of fire please don't subscribe to this channel or hit the like button if you won't find this video to be interesting fun to watch or simply entertaining wait until i deliver well in this video i'm gonna be showing you some very interesting bullet tricks to win your games very fast or in other words i'm going to be showing you some bullet tricks that you can also apply in your blitz rapid and even classical matches to gain a decisive advantage right in the opening stage all right here we go trap number one this was in the game that i played yesterday against a 2300 rated chess player well you can see here it's 2292 but his strength before this game and other games was 2300 spoiler alert this game ended in exactly seven moves so I started with knight c3, this is called the Vanjit opening, one of my secret weapons against everyone. And I'm planning to make a video series on this opening, so keep visiting my channel. Whatever black plays pawn to d5 or pawn to e5, I just go pawn to e4 and then develop the dark squared bishop. So my opponent responded with a move pawn to d5 and then I played pawn to e4. Now if pawn to d4 by black, what I like doing is relocating my queen's knight to this side of the board, which is very solid by the way. But well, I see most of my opponents taking on e4, after which I take with my knight. And then if they play bishop f5, which is one of the most played moves by the way, my main secret is not to move this knight from this square. I'll keep it here for as long as I want. It would even be better for black to take me so that I continue developing my pieces. So what I do is bishop b5 check, provoking black to play pawn to c6 so that his queen's knight can no longer sit here. I don't want black's knight to sit on c6. That's very important. So they'll play pawn to c6 most of the times. After which I play bishop d3. If bishop takes my knight, I can simply take back with my bishop. And you guys, this is only the fifth move of the game. And you've already started setting up some nasty bullet tricks against your opponent. You will still see some of your opponents going knight to f6 for example which is a blunder because you're just going to take that knight with check and end up winning material so that's one little opening trick let's go back so after bishop d3 the best black can do is to play pawn to e6 that is not the savior though but my 2300 rated opponent here played bishop g6 just being solid and i'm sure he was expecting me to play knight f3 then castle short but i quickly blazed out queen e2 which is an okay move by the way. I'll develop my king's knight as usual. Maybe put my bishop on c4. Point to d3, develop the other bishop castle long. That is if I want. And believe you me guys, my opponent here played the move knight d7, which is a common idea to team up with the king's knight. But the game ended after knight d6 checkmate. Cause note that the pawn cannot take my knight since it is pinned to the king by my queen, which is why this is checkmate. So this is one bullet trick that you can try out even in your rapid matches. If things don't go as planned, don't worry, you still have to play chess. Let's move on. All right, here is another trap. And in this game, I was playing black pieces. My opponent started with pawn to d4. And then I played the England gambit with pawn to e5 immediately. While d takes e5 is the top played move by far. And then I continued with bishop c5. My opponent here responded with knight to f3, holding on to his center pawn. And I played pawn to d6. Then even before my opponent played e takes d6, I quickly pre-moved knight e7, as if it was a blunder or some kind of a mouse slip. So my 2100 rated opponent just took on e7 and this is where i surprised him with the move bishop takes f2 check please note that white's king cannot go to d2 since my queen is covering the whole of this file so the only move is for the king to take on d2 which my opponent did and that's when i took his free queen ladies and gentlemen this is one trick that you can try out even in your rapid matches i'll show you how to continue in case your opponent knows this trap already. So here my opponent continued with knight to c3, just a desperado move. I took on c2, knight d4 attacking my queen. Well, I just retreated my queen back to g6. Knight db5 intending to take on c7 with check and winning the rook on h8. I just played 
queen f5 check just trying to relocate the king somewhere else after king g1 that's when i played knight a6 defending my pawn on c7 what did my opponent do he pushed pawn to e4 attacking my queen one more time and that's when i played queen c5 that will be checkmate in two moves by the way knight d4 i take then bishop e3 i also take so my opponent resigned in 11 moves right here let's go back so what if our opponent knows the trick and doesn't fall for our trap after pawn to d6 instead of taking on d6 let's say they play knight to c3 or they can take on d6 first after knight e7 then they play knight c3 it doesn't matter here we just continue with knight to c6 first that's the key move to remember and if bishop g5 we can always play pawn to f6 if pawn takes we take with our king's knight and prepare to castle short. Because of our rapid development, we may end up having a decisive game. Anyways, if your opponent still takes on d6, yeah, even though you can take back with your bishop, I prefer this move c takes d6. In case of any knight attacks on our bishop, we just play queen e7 and do fix our pawn structure on the queen side like this. So don't be worried about knight a4 attacking your dark squared bishop. In case white plays bishop a4 putting more pressure on the d6 pawn, here I recommend the hidden move queen b6. Simply attacking the pawn on b2 and the pawn on f2. If white plays knight a4, one of the most played moves, anticipating your move queen a5 check, after which they are going to block with a c pawn and indirectly defending their knight on a4 with a queen. Here I recommend you just go bishop takes f2 check first and after king d2 watch. We go queen b4 check attacking two of whites and defended minor pieces. Pawn to c3 blocking the check and at the same time choosing to defend the knight on a4. We simply grab the bishop with check on f4. Pawn to e3 doesn't help. They are going to play king c2. After which we take the other remaining minor piece and by this time white should be resigning. Okay, let's see another quick way of ending the game using some bullet tricks. Alright, trap number 3. Now with white pieces. Here, start with pawn to d4. If they play d5, there's a lot of other moves that you can play. Pawn to e3, knight f3 going into the caller system. You can play the stonewall attack, which I presented in the video that has popped up in the card above. You can play the queen's gambit pawn to c4. But the move that I want you to try out is the immediate pawn to h4. Ah, oh, Casper, why do you like presenting dubious moves? Nope, I don't think this is dubious. I mean, even Carlsen himself played this opening in the chessable masters preliminary stages in 2022 against where he other gems also play this by the way now allow me to turn on the leeches database so that i can give you much confidence in this opening i'm only going to be playing the top played moves according to the leeches database you can see here knight to f6 is by far the most played move and instead of playing h5 or other moves just go knight to c3 maybe signifying that you want to castle long and start expanding on the center with f3 point to e4 that's why you will see most of your opponents going bishop f5 in an effort to control the whole of this diagonal in fact bishop f5 is the top played move as you can see now here I don't want you to play bishop a4 which most white players play. I want you to go bishop g5 intending to get rid of this king's knight on f6. Now see, this is only the fourth move of the game. Yet you are still going to see black playing pawn to e6 which is again the top played move as you can see. So pawn to e6. Now wait a second. This position looks like you are just having a normal game. Everything is just solid. There are no any tricks. But trust me guys, the game is almost over. And on the next move, if black is an advanced player, he should resign this game. So you just simply go pawn to e4. And there's absolutely nothing that black can do to save one of his minor pieces. The bishop is under attack. If bishop g6, we still go pawn to h5. And please remember that the knight is pinned to the queen by our bishop. So the bishop will have to come back to e4 by taking. Let's say if d takes e4, we now play pawn to g4. 
And once again, if bishop g6, we have pawn to h5, trapping the bishop, and we are going to win material. Oh, Casper, but black can just take on g4 with his bishop. Yes, we just take the knight on f6. Oh, but he can take on d1. We don't care, because at the end of the day, we are up a piece. No, they can take on c2. We can also take on c7. And it turns out that white is now up a full piece. This opening can also be started as a queen's pawn game, Chigorin variation. Let me show you. So here we can still start with pawn to d4, then black plays d5. Then instead of playing pawn to h4 on move number two, you can still go knight to c3. And again, as you can see in the Liches database, knight to f6 is the top played move. Then right here, instead of playing bishop f4 or bishop g5, we go pawn to h4, which seems to be like a prophylactic move. Now again, black will still go bishop a5, which happens to be the top played move, simply controlling the whole of this diagonal. And this is when you can continue with bishop g5. Once again, that's when you will see the move pawn to e6. But just in case black plays something else, let's say pawn to h6 or pawn to h5, in order to pave way for his light squared bishop, here is how you can continue. Let's say pawn to h6, just take the knight on f6, that's the whole idea. Surprisingly enough, Stockfish wants black to take with the g pawn, because taking with the e pawn, which is what everybody plays, is another long term positional mistake, e.g. e takes f6. Here we just simply go pawn to e3, developing normally, pawn to c6 is what they play, you go bishop d3, exchanging your light squared bishops, knight d7 will be played, and then what did I say, most of the times you'll be castling long. And if black castles short in the near future, you have this deadly pawn storm coming. So they are probably going to castle long as well. So let's say queen c7, that's what they play. You now go pawn to e4 immediately. This is the key move in the Chigorin variation. Pawn to e4 is a very important pawn break. Please remember this. If you don't play this, you're just going to have a normal game. So play this as early as possible, even before black realizes. So they're going to play queen f4 check, for example, you go king b1. If they play bishop b4, intending to remove one of the defenders of the e4 pawn, well, you just take on d5. Bishop takes, you don't even take first of all. You play knight e2, attacking two things, because after queen d6, you are going to take with a knight, but first of all, play an in-between move, queen e4 check. After king f8, that's when you take with a knight, and you can see that black is just down a pawn for nothing with a bad pawn structure on the king's side. Alright, trap number 4, now with black pieces. White plays pawn to d4, and then we just go d5, and then you see them playing bishop f4 which is the accelerated London system, by the way. What do you do against the London system? Just like in the previous opening that I'm from covering, you go pawn to h5. Now, if I turn on the Leeches database once again, you can see by yourselves, pawn to e3 is by far the most played move. I'm not just making these things up. They'll play pawn to e3. And ladies and gentlemen, even if this was an OTB classical game, it is time for white to resign. Because after pawn to e5, there's just nothing they can do to stop us from winning material, which is this bishop here. They can try bishop takes e5. You simply go f6 attacking the bishop. If they go bishop g3, we have pawn to h4 coming. They may play bishop a4. You attack them once again with g5, bishop g3 and h4. This is only the 60th move of the game and black is already dead. By the way, I played this defense against a 2200 rated chess player and they resigned on the fourth move after I played pawn to f6. Four moves. Anyways, let's look at the last one. All right, the next bullet trick that you can try is against a Karakan defense. You start with e4, they play c6 d4 and then you go d5 i'm a fan of knight c3 honestly i don't like advancing my pawn if d takes e4 you take back with your knight and there are so many ways in which black can continue here but one of the most popular ways in fact the second most played move in the master's database is 
knight d7. Now this is called the cup of variation. One of the main ideas to develop the queen's knight to the f6 square later on. So here black is expecting to see you play classically with a move knight to f3 and maybe bishop c4 so that they can quickly connect their two knights in some variations of course. But here is where you can test your opponent's patience by playing queen e2 immediately. Queen e2 is also playable at grandmaster level. It's like the 60th move in the master's database. And from here, believe it or not, knight gf6 is the third most played move in the Leech's database, which is a blunder because of knight d6. Again, checkmate. You can also set this same trick in the ready opening. Let's say you begin with the move knight to f3 on move 1. Another trick you guys, you will see most of your opponents, especially in bullet, playing pawn to e4 here. You just take the pawn. That's another bullet trick. So they will go pawn to c6 anyways. The carol can defense. You go e4. They'll play d5. And then you play knight c3. This is one of Carlson's favorite openings. If d takes e4, we simply take back with our knight. They'll go knight f6. And once again, they expect you to play moves such as bishop d3 or simply taking on f6. But here it's time to test their patience. Go queen e2 once again. And the plans are very simple. If knight takes, we take back with our queen. We also have moves such as pawn to d4. We develop our light squared bishop to c4. But just like in the cup of variation, you see them playing knight bd7. After which you can safely meet on d6 once again. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked my presentation. Please, if you did, I won't tell you what to do. But thank you so much for watching my video. Until next time.